Welcome, everybody, to our special BodyWise Health Information Call. My name is Steve Hughes, and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I was fortunate to have uh, benefited from a friend sharing these great products with me over 23 years ago, back in November of 1989. And uh, my wife, Cindy, and my two children have been on these products ever since they, they've been able to swallow capsules and pills and then drink shakes. And, of course, uh, my whole family has benefited tremendously um, from the BodyWise program, products and education. Uh, for those of you that are listening to this call, maybe for the first time, we do these calls. BodyWise hosts these calls once, typically once a month. Uh, and they're really focused on education and helping people understand their, their physiology and what they can do to help support their body's function through supplementation and education. Uh, we feature products that are manufactured by BodyWise International, a 24-year-old health and wellness company. Uh, and with that in mind, I want to extend again a special welcome to those of you that are new to this call and really looking at BodyWise for the first time. For those of you that are new, BodyWise International was founded in 1989 uh, as a company that manufactures pharmaceutical grade nutritional supplements that are based on science and not hype. I always think that's important for people to understand that not all supplements are created equal. Uh, today we've got a really uh, a neat guest on the line here that I have the privilege of uh, interviewing and asking a few questions to, and his name is uh, David Bergsman, who happens to be the CEO of Dietary Ingredient Solutions, LLC. And uh, David, first of all, thanks so much for uh, taking the time out to join us on this call today. Well, good morning, Stephen. Good morning to everybody. It's always a pleasure to join you guys. It's kind of interesting to join you in the morning. I think that's kind of different. And <laughs> to do it on a, on a Saturday is even more interesting. So I Yeah, we're going to have some fun this morning and hopefully answer some questions and explain a few things for people. One of the things that, that we do have on the, on the line here today is folks that have, uh, are experiencing a compromised immune system, and we've also got people that... Uh, don't realize their immune system is compromised because they're walking around thinking everything's fine. So what I'd like to do, first of all, is, is ground a few a few things down here. You, many, many, many years ago, uh, ran into this technology, but more importantly, and this is something people, I, a lot of people don't understand or know, is that you had some concerns, some health concerns, and this is what really brought this to the forefront uh, to the marketplace. Would you mind just kind of sharing a little bit about how you ran into this uh, compound to begin with and, and how it kind of evolved. Yeah, it would be, be a pleasure. You know, I think the history is always important to everybody and how people got to the places they are, even on this Saturday morning. You know, I, I was suffering from a challenge to, to my health, and, and this is back in 82-ish. And um, an Arizona physician that I visited made some very elementary products produced with this technology, the technology used to produce AIE-10, available to me. And I had really been suffering, and once I obtained them, I recovered very quickly. And I think it's important to realize I had really made the rounds looking for solutions to the problems that I was struggling with, and I wasn't getting anywhere. So I was thrilled that I hooked up with a physician who had access to this material. And then as time went on, I, I, as I got well, I went back and said I should do some pro bono work. I was a CPA. I am a CPA. I practiced here in Arizona for 25 years. And so doing some volunteer work with alternative medical practitioners 10 years after, um, I learned that the products I had used were not available to the public. Um, you know, I felt like immediately empowered to change that situation, probably the strongest motivation I've ever felt in my life, commercially at least. And within a year, I'd worked with the technology and developed AIE-10 and funded dietary ingredient solutions uh, specifically to bring the ingredient to the market. And that was in late 1993. Now, since 93, I've been immersed in the study and production of AIE-10, and I've enjoyed a fantastic experience helping others improve their own health through the use of AIE-10. I could never have imagined how this safe, simple, and yet so effective product would become the perfect cornerstone to my career, my health, and the health of my family, and so many friends and followers. There's a very pleasant surprise uh, waiting, Steve, in, as the world uh, begins to realize more and more about AIE-10, and AIE-10 reaches more and more people. And physicians have come to realize that this ingredient is the key to helping their patients maintain and regain good health. Well, I can tell you that uh, a lot of us are very pleased that you brought this <laughs> to the marketplace, and 
And we were uh, introduced at BodyWise to AIA-10 in April of 2000. Uh, now, prior to April of 2000, obviously, um, the formulation aspect of AG Immune, uh, one of our key products that we carry, and specifically AG Immune as far as the immune system is concerned, along with NK Immune, but AG Immune came to the forefront for us in April of 2000. Uh, before that, uh, prior to, you were introduced to our founder, uh, Thomas T. Cherney, who owns Vitatech International, where these products are manufactured. And he wanted to make something special with AIE 10. And can you kind of share with people your experience dealing with Tom and uh, uh, how that relationship grew uh, to, to actually develop a product called AG Immune and what he brought to the forefront and from his manufacturing facility and uh, what your perspective was on that whole, that whole process? Yeah, you know, maybe starting with the fact that you connect uh, in this industry in the particularly in the supplement manufacturing industry, you really connected to Tom, and in 2000, you really connected directly. There's very few leaders in any industry, and Tom's been a leader from the very beginning. And You know, when you're handling an ingredient like AI-10 in particular, you're concerned about uh, mismeasurement, you know, and handling, and, you know, a whole lot of things. And we didn't have the GMPs in those days, in 2000, that we have now to help standardize the industry. You know, Tom was way, way ahead, uh, not only in the manufacturing side, but also in the ingredient understanding side and, and the application of ingredients. And, you know, his idea with AG was to take some really recognized uh, material that was in the marketplace to some extent and make it available in a single product and then blend it with AIE-10 in order to get a, a much more complete immune modulation and immune support product than anything that was in the marketplace at that time. And he succeeded. I mean, I think AG speaks for itself. It's just been a tremendous product and continues to be a tremendous product. And it's a product that's timeless in the sense that nothing really has come along to, to suggest that it's better, or different, or more important. You know, it's a tremendous product. And, you know, he had great vision, and, I, and, I, and I'm sure he still does. You know, he understood the industry. He understood the way products worked. He understood this immunology thing. Once it was explained to him, he was really on board with it. Um, and it was fun to work with Tom. He's a terrific guy, and, and you know, obviously, Vitatech, a terrific, terrific company and a leader in the industry. Like I said. Well, you know, I'm so glad that you guys uh, <laughs> collaborated on this because it certainly has changed and affected. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Yeah.